This is aloe arborescence, torch aloe. And um, you're looking at a large clump, a very mature clump in Pacific Grove, California, uh, taken in April. You can see the ice plant blooming around it. But this is the uh, flower that is so well known for and uh, is one of the showiest plants I've ever seen. Um, you can imagine that larger version that you saw first cover with these uh, brilliant orange-red flowers, and um, it's pretty spectacular. Uh, this uh, is a clump that's blooming in winter. This is probably January, and um, these bloom from late fall to... Um, well for three to five months just depending on their situation so November December January February and probably finishing up in March or so uh, at least in California and um, this this uh, group right here is in Santa Barbara California so I'll get into uh, the climate that they do best in these are damaged by frost when they get down below 25 degrees Fahrenheit or so and so they do best in coastal California or coastal areas where uh, you don't get frost much below that. Um, they'll start getting burned because of the high water content in the leaf uh, below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, so that's just something to consider when you're deciding where to use this is um, be very aware of the cold. Uh, they will really prefer a more mild situation. Um, and they're very tolerant of uh, sea co uh, coastal situations or near the ocean. Uh, as I said, that first photo that you saw was right next to the ocean in Pacific Grove in the Monterey area of uh, California. So it's a uh, it's kind of a specimen shrub I guess you'd say it's um they become quite large unless you prune them they're a little awkward so they're not the easiest plant to be pruning and um, I think the best way to use them in design is to give them enough space to where they can just uh, clump and become what you see in these pictures here um, they're very good in deer areas. They're incredibly drought tolerant. Essentially, these do not get water um, most of the, well, from uh, basically May, June, July, August, September, and into October in California. And uh, they do just fine with that. So they're a very drought tolerant plant as, re as well as deer tolerant and uh, once they're established. As with a lot of the more succulent types of plants, they store water in the leaves, and that's one of the ways they can survive these dry spells. Um, companion plants, you can see here the uh, hardened bergia or happy wanderer in the background of this shot uh, with the deep purple flowers. And again, that's a late bloomer. You know, when I realize uh, when that blooms, that's a February-March bloomer in California. And so that's when this photo was taken. It was February or March. Um, so in terms of design, I, I think along with other um, uh, succulent type plants and distinctively, Medi um, not Mediterranean, but more uh, kind of cactus garden and dry California landscape plants. This is a very good addition. Uh, it has such a strong character though, I think you really need to allow for that, um, whether it's blooming or not. The uh, foliage and so forth has such a strong character with these um, kind of spidery looking plants that uh, clump together in a group like you see here. Uh, I think that um, if you're using it you have to be very selective but also uh, patient the big clump you saw there is very very old it's decades old as opposed to these younger groups you see here are probably two to three years old so um, what else can I tell you I mean I think one of the challenges is is they kind of clump on top of themselves and as they do so they look a bit unruly but I think that's also part of their charm as a plant and and what makes them interesting so um, uh, that's about what I can tell you uh, about the um, torch aloe great looking plant very distinctive long-lived bloom 
and I, I think if you've if you've got the right style of design going, I think they can be a really great addition. Um, but I don't think you need a lot of them like you necessarily see in these photos. I think that um, a little goes a long way. And that is aloe arborescence, torch aloe.